<clears throat> Hello everyone and welcome to this uh, audio podcast um, in this series, um, uh, the, the Desert Storm Didactic. This is uh, an RPSG and Lobostics collaborative and, uh, and, and a Storm Lobostics, a Storm Lobostics production. Um, uh, today I'm going to uh, highlight um, uh, a sort of an overview uh, surrounding uh, in and around uh, transplant immunobiology uh, and, and looking at trans transplant immunobiology from uh, a chronic kidney disease or a CK uh, or a CKD a CKD review um, perspective and um, this um, overview is aligned to the inter- um, the the anticipated um, uh, the anticipated the, antici- the anticipated uh, sort of um, a remit in and around the International Pediatric Transplant Association IPTA, I- IPTA 2023. Um, and so, to begin with, a little bit um, uh, some uh, some background um, uh, some background context in around this uh, collaborative works. So, the immune system protects the body uh, from infection by pathogenic um, organisms, and it is composed um, of a complex constellation of cells, organs, and tissues arranged in an elaborate and dynamic communications uh, network. The immune system is uh, in its simplest form a cascade of detection and and adaptation culminating in a system that is remarkably effective. Leukocyte and lymphocyte uh, migration uh, migration, uh, or trafficking from um, peripheral blood and affected tissues is is an essential component of the inflammatory reaction uh, to virtually all forms of tissue injury. Or all forms of injury, and in and an important factor in the development of many uh, in in the development and part of um, uh, several or various diseases. Advances in the past um, in the past few years have highlighted the the central sort of role of a family of chemo uh, chemotactic cytokines called uh, chemokines uh, in this process. Uh, cellular adhesion molecules or uh, or CAMs or CAMs have have been important in allograft uh, allograft rejection as the as these molecules allow protein or receptor or receptor binding chemokines help uh, control the selective migration and activation of inflammatory cells into the injury into uh, into the injured injured uh, tissue or allograft or graft chemokines and corresponding receptor ligands mig- uh, migrate during inflammation uh, inflammation and there is some um, there is some evidence um, there is some evidence in the literature that certain certain uh, negative uh, negative um, uh, sort of a ne- uh, negative um, uh, a, a, ne- a negative a negative uh, a negative states uh, for example such as so for example uh, uh, such as for example uh, stress stress uh, depression and, uh, and or anxiety can affect, affect physical immunity through a production uh, production um, uh, of stress hormones, uh, for example, and such as um, such as a, and the catecholamines, catecholamines and glucocorticoids. And there is uh, indication that negative uh, negative states um, um, as well may lead to faster can lead to or may lead to a faster progression in certain diseases uh, diseases uh, such as human immunodeficiency uh, virus um, and uh, cardiovascular um, ca- cardio- and cardiovascular disease uh, through direct biological uh, through direct um, through, through direct, uh, direct uh, biological mechanisms negative states may also uh, may also um, indirectly indirectly affect um, disease processes through influence on on health on health um, on health uh, health uh, behaviors or health Health attitudes, for example, depression, depression, depression has been related or has been in has been has been noted as uh, in regard to many risk factors um, for poor health for poor health. Um, stress with regard to um, with regard to Hanselli's general adaptation syndrome in 1936 has also been considered um, considered with uh, commencing um, has also been considered with with commencing uh, various disease uh, disease uh, disease uh, states various disease um, states health um, healthcare also incorporates uh, healthcare also incorporates another model 
uh, called the biopsychosocial model. The biopsychosocial model um, is also a technical or a technical uh, term or terminology uh, for the popular concept of the mind-body connection. Uh, the, 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 uh, the model was developed um, initially originally by a, a psychiatrist, a psychiatrist referred to as George Engel, uh, George Engel at the University of Rochester, and the first published uh, and was first published in 1977. Uh, 1977 in an article of, uh, of science. Um, the biopsychosocial model um, also draws a distinction between the actual pathological process, um, um, processes that um, cause, cause, the see, cause disease, cause disorder, a disorder or disease, and a patient's or an individual's perception, perception of health that, uh, that uh, perception a perception of uh, an individual or patient's perception of health, of health and the effects on it um, referred to or called the illness. There also have been theories, uh, theories directly um, that affect, um, uh, that directly affect the immune system and there are, uh, there are, uh, there have been and uh, there have been uh, uh, investigations, investigation that um, show uh, this to be the case, um, uh, and in this context, in this context, the immune system along uh, uh, aligned to aligned align to uh, uh, aspects of um, uh, of um, uh, of or uh, in context of bio uh, by the biopsychosocial model. In this context, um, the immune system um, uh, 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 alongside a bio uh, the biopsychosocial model. Um, is um, referred to or can be referred to <clears throat> and has been referred to in literature as uh, the psychoneuroimmuno uh, psycho as psychoneuroimmunology where where there's where um, there's where there's specialties uh, that collaborate between psychology nor uh, psychiatry or psychology neuroimmunology I'm uh, sorry neuro neurology neuro neurology or neurophysiology and uh, and immunology or the immune system. Now the aims and objectives um, uh, in around this work around transplant immunobiology and uh, a CKD uh, uh, and a CKD review uh, CKD review. Um, the aims and objectives were looking at the uh, looking at entities based on CKD or chronic kidney disease, um, transplant immunobiology, and neuroendocrinology. Um, um, uh, from from the from a literature perspective, um, um, the um, the the aims and objectives uh, would uh, had been to would had been to uh, had had been to um, to uh, to to uh, iterate iterate um, the basis of of um, original uh, original works and original uh, research. So now um, um, the next and the next part of this um, uh, um, this uh, uh, audio this audio podcast, I am now going to um, highlight some some retrospective some uh, some retro uh, retrospective uh, retrospective literature in context of transplant immunobiology. <clears throat> and so so and to begin with. There have been several. Um, there have been several uh, um, investigations exploring um, exploring um, uh, clinical and experimental observations that indicate that an immune system, the immune responses, immune responses may be modulated by the central nervous system, the C, uh, the CNS. It was Neveu and Limol in 19 um, uh, in in 19 in the in, uh, in 1990 that highlighted that the immune system. And the uh, central nervous system are known to communicate uh, through the endocrine and autonomic nervous systems and inform that a complete regulatory loop between between uh, immu uh, immune uh, the immune and neuroendocrine system endocrine system uh, that uh, neuroendocrine system systems exists. It was Wagen or Wagen and team in 1990 um, that informed that there is a, a molecular basis for bidirectional communication. Between the immune and neuroendocrine systems, the recognition of such stimuli, of such, of such stimuli converted into information in the form of, of, um, of components, uh, for example, lymphokines, 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 monokines, and hormones, and a message received by 
um, by the neuroendocrine, neuro, neuroendocrine tissue or neuro, neuroendocrine tissues. Nervous uh, system recognition of stimuli can also can also be converted into chemical chemical signals, uh, chemical signals that are relayed to the immune uh, immune uh, cells, uh, resulting in uh, physiological changes. It was Bedovsky uh, and Delray in 1991 that informed interactions imply uh, imply uh, that uh, the existence of afferent messengers afferent messengers uh, derived from the immune system such as lymphokines uh, lymphokines and monokines capable capable of integrating immune immune neuroendocrine circuits at the time um, of the uh, of the peak um, at the time of um, uh, of um, or, um, of peak um, in, in uh, of peak uh, in, in around the immune immune response to innocuous innocuous uh, innocuous antigens, as well as following inoculation inoculation of infective agents, endotoxins or or tumor cells, immunological cell um, cells release cytokines cytokines which can stimulate the pituitary adrenal axis. The acute effect of these cytokines um, is mediated by stimulation of the release of cortico, corticotropin um, releasing factor from the hypothalamus. It was uh, uh, Gro uh, Grokowitz, or Grotowitz, um, at, uh, and team in 1991 that, highlight, that uh, highlighted or highlight that conditioned uh, immunosuppression, uh, immunosuppression using uh, 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 using um, a taste a taste aversion paradigm um, had been uh, demonstrated in several laboratory investigations. The team report that this uh, that the survival of cardiac um, allografts in in rat laboratory in rat laboratory models um, can be prolonged um, by uh, by immunosuppression using using an immunosuppression um, uh, using a, 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 an immunosuppression agent referred to as referred to as cyclosporin A or CSA as a stimulus in a taste um, in a taste in taste aversion conditioning. Conditioned animals received uh, saccharin as uh, uh, as the conditioned stimulus paired with an injection of CSA at 10 and 6 days before uh, before um, transplant before transplantation. Early investigations during during that uh, during that time um, suggested or had suggested had uh, or suggested and had and had informed that behaviorally beha behaviorally uh, conditioned immunosuppression uh, may have been may have important clinical implications uh, as an adjunct to uh, to drug to drug uh, treatments in transplant in and around transplant immunobiology. It was Grotzel and uh, uh, Sridharan um, in 92, in 1992, who informed that in integration between several immunological functions in host defense may reveal novel mechanisms of cellular communication and uh, biological adaptation. It was Otto and Husband in 1992 uh, that highlight, uh, highlighted that many of the alterations in immunity releasing um, uh, 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 in immunity uh, resulting from central nervous system activity can uh, can uh, can be explained in terms or in terms of changes uh, of change or where there are changes in lymphocyte in lymphocyte migration in response to endocrine signals neural signals and through neurotransmitter release and all di uh, direct and all direct contra uh, contacts between between uh, nerves and the and the immune system it was uh, Kropunig's uh, work in 1993, 90, sorry, 1993, um, that um, uh, where where Kropunig's uh, research suggested that the immune system is um, is active even in a bidirectional feedback loop. It was Klein. It was Klein in 1993 that highlights cellular molecular basis for modulation of host resistance is not is not fully understood, but involves involves altered functioning of both T lymphocytes um, and cells of the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis. It was Klein also in 93, 1993 um, that also highlighted that there is a production of cytokines and hormones produced by the immune system and the and the brain. It was a uh, Wagen uh, um, uh, and Blalock 
1995 that highlighted that prospective investigation should, uh, should seek to investigate into the physiological role of cytokines and neuro, neuroendocrine hormones um, neuroendocrine, uh, neuroendocrine horm hormones uh, and the link between immunology and uh, neuroendocrinology. Um, it was Perna and team in 1997 that informed in terms of, uh, in, in regard to the cardiovascular, cardiovascular, endocrine and immune responses, acute high intensity physical activity and stress may be considered as a, sub, a subcategory um, of stressful active coping. Neuroendocrine responses include uh, increases in catecholamines um, as well as elevations in cortisol under high but relatively low sympathetic activation. Immune system responses include increases in natural killer cell or NK cell uh, number and cytotoxicity uh, and suppressor, uh, suppressor or cytotoxic lymphocytes. Uh, chronic life stressors, uh, chronic life stressors have been uh, identified to influence acute uh, cardiovascular, endocrine, and immune responses to um, acute stressors. And physical uh, activity also causes an increase in beta endorphin, beta endorphin, and because of the beta endorphin, important immune uh, units units stay blunted. But in in but in in concept, in 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 regard to pre-transplantation. During stressful uh, st during stressful um, uh, periods, uh, during stressful times or during stressful periods, that there, um, there is um, there is uh, there is uh, little or no um, no uh, evidence in and around beta endorphin, and so immune so the immune components such as chemokine receptors, uh, a CD uh, CD8 cytotoxic T cells, natural killer cells or NK cells may influence may influence uh, acute allograft rejection post-transplant or AAR pay a uh, post-transplant uh, transplantation works by Ferencheck, uh, Ferencheck and Steranova in 1997 informed that the neuro that neuroendocrine system influences and or um, uh, influences uh, influence uh, influence and or modulate the immune components immune components uh, that link to physical stress it was Dancer, Dancer um, in 1997 that informed that there is evidence that different perceptions of stress um, of stress have different um, uh, physiological consequences uh, and different ways of coping with stress result in different consequences on, on immunity, the nature and outcome of which depend on the type of immune response. It works by Webster in 1997 demonstrate that glucocorticoids and catecholamines favor Th2, Th Th type 2 helper cells um, over Th2, Th1 type immune cells and mediators by controlling the production um, of specific regulatory cytokines. Is Gellard, a uh, Gellard in 1998, who informed that there that the immune that the immune uh, the immune and neuroendocrine in interactions are involved in numerous uh, physiological and pathophysiological conditions and seem to play an important role uh, to mainstay uh, to to mainstay mainstay uh, homeostasis homeostasis and the mutual information um, circuit inside of uh, the immune nervous and and endocrine uh, system suggest suggest that there is a link uh, a link with pivotal regulatory role in living organisms. It works by uh, works by Ferencheck in 1998 assert that the immune system is uh, is or is or can be viewed uh, as a sixth sense and may ultimately provide a new a new understanding of physiology of physiology required for disease and stress involving the immune neuroendocrine communication. It was Clapeak um, in 2000 who informed informed um, that through um, through uh, through uh, though, uh, so, uh, who informed that though there are various or several questions that remain unanswered, it appears reasonable to include that depression, for example, and possibly stress factors that affect the use of immune immunosuppression uh, affect the use of immunosuppression in transplanted recipients. It's Works by Hennig and, to, and team in 2000 
um, conduct, a, uh, conduct a study on the mechanism of changes in lymphocyte numbers um, after stress. The team identified catecholamine is linked to stress and found it as a major uh, uh, found it uh, found it of major importance. The surrounding frequency um, frequency of mild of mild leukocytosis in other st in another study by Hennig and team in 2001 demonstrated uh, the, the team demonstrated that cortical uh, cort sorry cortisol um, uh, seems to play an important important a uh, role in stress induced redistribution patterns of uh, uh, CD8 cytotoxic uh, CD8 positive C CD8 positive cytotoxic T cells. This, however, can be explained by different migration processes between cells. For example, different targets of migration and therefore different glucocorticoid uh, influences are on target tissues. It was Gerard, uh, uh, Gerard um, in 2001 who also informed that crosstalk between the immune system, uh, the immune and uh, the immune and endocrine systems um, is important on homeostasis since the interactions can produce uh, a various appropriate adaptate, uh, adaptive responses when, home is, when homeostasis is threatened. It's works by Harbers, um, Harbers in 2003 that highlight that in the field of uh, psychoneuroimmunology or PNI, um, hormone, uh, hormones, peptides and neurotransmitters regulate the, the immune system. However, understanding the complex sort of interactions between systems is still a challenge um, for the 21st century. And pathogens, tumors, and allergens are, de are detected with great sensitivity and specificity uh, by the immune system. However, um, however, George Engel's um, biopsychosocial model um, or paradigm is now one of, is, is, uh, is or has been perhaps one of the, one of the main uh, models uh, when dealing with most human human diseases and disorders. The biopsychosocial model uh, also encourages encourages reading into areas not traditionally associated to transplant immunobiology. It's works by Blalock uh, in 2007 who um, uh, also informed that as a sixth as a sixth sense the immune system is a means um, to signal and mobilize the, the body to respond to these types of challenges, investigators uh, should acknowledge. Uh, investigators should acknowledge that research surrounding transplantation should not be restricted to single organs, and that the and that pi, uh, the psychoneuroimmunology, um, the psychoneuroimmunology may have a, a role in prospective in, in prospective investigations. This may produce a, uh, a better understanding on the immune system, and it may and it may be a means um, of attaining T cell tolerance post trans uh, post transplant. So in uh, 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 in line with this, now uh, I'm not going to highlight um, uh, some context around the uh, uh, around around uh, sort of the the the, princip uh, the principal actions of of, uh, of, of chemokines. And then um, some context around prospective um, prospective investigations. So chemokines um, chemokines um, uh, are released by uh, are released by stimulated cells and they act act locally. Um, chemokines are produced by intrinsic uh, intrinsic cells as well as infiltrate infiltrating cells. Chemokines act through G uh, G protein coupled seven transmem transmembrane receptors and uh, induce calcium calcium reflux uh, chemokine receptor expression is cell is cell specific chemokines bind to pro uh, proteoglycans uh, proteoglycans and extracellular uh, extra extracellular fluid sorry extracellular matrix um, chemokines in induce he uh, uh, hepatotaxis cell migration which is uh, it, uh, it, uh, 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 hepatotaxis which is where cell migration where the cell migration along surface gradients um, and uh, chemokines can activate uh, adhesion adhesion molecules chemokines can also induce uh, oxygen burst um, and the release of granules um, and proteases and um, proteinases by leukocytes chemokines control aspects of immunomodulation immunomodulation uh, Angiogenesis, angiogenesis, uh, hematopoiesis, 
um, and development. Uh, there is there's works by uh, Segrega um, from 2000, Segrega and team in 2000 in their works looking at the principles of chemokine, uh, chemokine's uh, action, which highlight, uh, which look into, which look into the works around chemokines, uh, chemokines and chemokine uh, receptor ligands more intricately. There's works uh, in and around the perspective, uh, sort of perspective inf investigations. There's um, a team, a team, um, uh, a team uh, uh, um, in 1997, uh, Al 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 Arabi Al and team in 1997 assert that. I'll highlight that um, pre-transplantation plasmapheresis, plasmas, plasmapheresis with immunosuppressive drugs, for example, cyclophosphamide and prednisolone, can be helpful in the removal uh, 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 in, in, for example, the removal of human, human of human leukocyte antigens (HLA) in immune uh, in, in uh, immunized patients uh, awaiting uh, renal uh, in in, uh, in 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 immunized. Uh, Patients or uh, 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 in immunized patients awaiting uh, re, uh, trans, uh, transplantation, whether uh, uh, in, uh, and where and where and where Al Arabi and team uh, in '97 um, look at this in context of renal transplantation, and it can be considered valuable valuable uh, 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 a valuable approach to increase the probability of successful transplantation. Uh, in one um, in one investigate uh, in one investigation by Nafar Nafar and team in 2006, there is suggestion that plasmapheresis with or without uh, with or without therapeutic uh, other therapeutic measures may have a role in the salvage salvage of allografts with early acute dysfunction where recipients may be resistant to conventional uh, uh, conventional pharmacotherapy. The team, um, the team also conclude that allograft prognoses in recipients with acute humoral response who respond to plasmapheresis can be comparable to that in other renal transplant transplanted recipients. Uh, in in vitro in vitro investigations or in, in vitro uh, studies, uh, in in vitro studies are using, uh, for example, interleukin 15, interleukin uh, 2, uh, interleukin uh, 15 receptor alpha. Stress cellular adhesion molecules uh, and relevant uh, and relevant monoclonal antibodies, uh, for example, anti-CD25, um, can uh, should be investigated with chemokine receptors, for example, such as uh, CCR5, uh, CCR5, CCR7, and CXCR3 in a T in a T cell culture system to see if this affects T cell migration post transplant. Using peripheral blood, for example, using peripheral blood mononuclear cells or PBMCs uh, would, uh, would, uh, would, or could, uh, would, and should be uh, um, advantageous. Now, uh, in context around this, I'm now going to highlight some, some, um, a brief, con a brief context around the discussion, and, and then, and then some conclusions. So, whilst there have been um, some collaborative approaches between, between disciplines and practices. Uh, which incorporate laboratory investigations, understanding CKD or chronic kidney disease in context of transplant immunobiology, um, uh, uh, <clears throat> understanding in context, uh, CKD in context of transplant immunobiology, immunobiology generally, um, generally uh, uh, this, this still is, uh, is uh, pertinent or important. Indeed, stress adaptation and mechanisms aligned to psychoneuroimmunology or PNI um, are topics um, to contemplate across solid, uh, solid, uh, or solid organ transplant specialties. So in and around the conclusions um, uh, of this works, um, again, uh, so using using chemotactics, uh, chemotactic assays with flow cytometry uh, would aid to uh, give graphical graphical context or data, uh, linking specific endocrines endocrines such as cortisol. Um, a cortisol, uh, uh, ACTH, uh, uh, AT, uh, uh, sorry, adrenocorticotropic uh, hormone and glutocorticoid hormone, hormone uh, with, uh, with, uh, in context of the above, um, uh, in context of, of prospective investigations, um, etc., could be, uh, could be, and would be advantageous. Uh, advantageous. Uh, stress has, uh, stress may, uh, may have, uh, may have effects um, with um, with and in regards to T cell migration post transplant and instigated migration studies is one is perhaps one of the most useful and helpful ways to look for to look for um, to look for uh, patterns. 
Um, without laboratory investigations and collaborations between transplant immunobiology, immunobiology and neuroendocrinology in context of chronic kidney disease or CKD, it is still a challenge to state uh, to state any specific um, any specific correlations. Uh, in uh, in line to this work um, uh, uh, and uh, on online, uh, there will be um, some some citations in context of of where where anyone checking out this audio podcast can can uh, look to identify um, more of the uh, more more sort of uh, literature around around this around this works. Um, but uh, here I want uh, here I want to say uh, thank you for tuning in on this uh, audio podcast. This has been the scientist as uh, part of the Desert Storm Didactic uh, audio podcast series. Um, there's been another RPSG and Lobostics collaborative. Um, and uh, where uh, uh, and this audio and where this audio podcast uh, has been about trans it has been uh, uh, is uh, is and has been around transplant immunobiology uh, and uh, a CKD a chronic kidney disease review um, and once again uh, this has uh, been done in this audio podcast is in anticipation of the Inter- International Pediatric Transplant Association uh, or IPTA 2023 and once again this is a storm lobostics a Storm Lobostics production. Thank you for tuning in.